Hello, Pisces. This is your Venus retrograde reading for October to November 1st of this current year. How are you all doing today? I hope you're doing fantastic. Oh, did I miss one? I missed one. Ah, if you guarded a little bit too hard, you're losing your strength. Nine of wands reversed. And then you're kind of like being all in your feelings with the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Kind of being a little needy. That's understandable if you get worn out or something, though. So this is going to be a different reading and using my Alistair Toth deck. Um, some of you might find that it's not, like, as genuine an offer somewhere as possible. Maybe somebody's offering you something that looks like the real deal, but it's, like, not. Like, walking into your house and realizing everything in your house is a replica of the original and was replaced. Like that kind of thing, right? Like it doesn't feel authentic enough for you. Shoot. Shoot. One more. So anyway, I'm still doing personal readings. So if you want one, you can go in my description and my emails there and then we'll talk there. Ah, I'm hoping y'all are having a good retrograde this year. No way, Amazing. Okay, so let's begin with yours. We got you in the center as you're wanting a burden to be lessened up with the Ten of Wands reversed. And on this side, we got failure, Seven of Pentacles, something that didn't work out. And an offer, a genuine offer with the Ace of Pentacles upright this time. So what the hell was it about before then? Huh. Maybe it had something to do with this failure side since that was the second card. Okay, so on this side we got a Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. She's very indecisive about knowing what to do. You are. See you when you get home, lover. My husband's going to work. Sadness. I know. Love you. Okay. So again, yeah, she's very indecisive. She's very, um... Not really... Like, she's having a hard time... I feel like being overly critical, possibly even mean, like something didn't work out. Maybe she's a woman scorned and like she's not really being as emotional as she could be or can be. On this side, we have someone ready to leave because of insolence, like a lack of action, lack of emotional change, a lack of, like, filling these cups back up, right? On this side, we have someone not coming out with the truth, or someone has, like, some mismanaged idea of the truth when it comes to this failure. If someone's coming off bitter and somebody has the wrong idea about a failure that happened, I see. Sorry, I had to go grab something real quick. But yeah, it's like someone, it's like someone, I, and I don't want to sound mean or anything, but it's like somebody had the wrong idea of why this failed. Of why something failed suddenly. Right? Like someone, I don't know. Over on this side, we got somebody's keeping this inaction a secret with the high priestess. Someone is not wanting to come out with it. Someone is 
keeping that under wraps. On this side, we have some imbalance. Adjustment needs to be made, like something is not balanced and it's calling for it. This is Libra's card. Saying something is not right. And on this side, we have abundance, maybe celebrations. <laughs> like someone's celebrating on the outside, but on the inside, behind this high priestess, they're like... There's no action, there's no, there's nothing happening, like... It's like, and like usually it means like walking away from something because like it didn't work out and it's like somebody's walking away because something has not has no activity to them anywhere it doesn't mean anything like the emotions that are still there are like just attachment emotions and the rest of the cups are just dried out from like what caused it to keep pouring in the first place like they're rusted like they only poured so much until it was like okay i can't pour anymore you know hmm Ooh. Someone's not wanting to move. Someone wants to be inactive. Uh, King of Wands, possibly. He he could be riding in. He's just not. He's decided not to. He's just kind of sitting there doing whatever. I don't know. Yeah, I turn whatever. Um, possibly because he's getting what he's want behind the curtain. Because this is happiness. It's also a wish fulfillment. Someone might have gotten what they wished for. <laughs> I don't know if they were careful about what they wished for, but they got it. Okay, Pisces. So, down here with this Queen of Swords, who's very bitter right now. She's being hypercritical. She's not happy. She's stuck in her head. With some Gemini energy with the Nine of Swords. A lot of cruelty in here. Maybe she's being harsh. On this side, where someone's lacking the emotional stability to keep wanting to hang on... Because <laughs> they got what they wished for. Ah. Wish fulfillment, happiness. Like, is this what they wanted or is this what they thought would make them happy? I wonder. On this side, with this lack of clarity on an idea or something with this failure, Knight of Swords, come on, someone coming in and talking, and talking, uh, to fight, to argue, maybe. Could be Libra, Sagittarius, Aries again. Or Libra, Sag... Oh my god, I am so... That was like three different ones. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay? Okay. But yeah, it could be another air sign. Or it could be these two, same two air signs. Um, the hypercriticalness could be causing like someone not to see things clearly and be very verbally robust and a lot of bravado. I don't want to say abusive because I'm not sure if that's the case because they're writing in to talk something. And I want to think it's like truth, but I don't know if they have the right idea of the truth of this failure either. So it might not entirely be the truth to them. On this side, with this secret by the High Priestess, Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Could be somebody who, um... Seems way more dependent, I feel like, than what they actually are. Like, you know, her upside down is like she depends on other people to help take care of her and stuff. But she lies behind the secret. Or she lies with the secret. Like, someone wants to celebrate and just let go of things, but they don't want to admit it, almost? Over on this side, with this injustice going on, possibly a Libra. Someone who is, uh, not being fair or looking at things and trying to balance them out. 
We have the six of wands strength. They're lacking it. Or nine of wands, my bad. Lacking strength to keep up guard against them. Or maybe they're lacking strength against you, Pisces. Mind you, all this one, this one, and this one, they could be the same person, too. And with this celebration or even a third wheel, or maybe some happy times with friends and family, we got the King of Swords, someone coming for the truth about these celebrations and happiness, right? Let's see, we'll get three... Three, and then three advice, right? Ah, shit. Not all of you. That's ridiculous. That's way too much. Ah. Let's see. Ah. We got... The sun, someone's happiness, right? Like someone is extremely happy on this side. Then it seems kind of weird that they are. They're in control with the Emperor Aries card. They're adapting, they're manipulating everything to their needs. They're able to go and say, I did this, I made the first move and all that, right? We got all this accomplished. Then we have Queen of Cups, possibly you, Pisces, or a Cancer, or Scorpio. Someone who's really not being genuine with their feelings, maybe even emotionally manipulative in some ways. And they're maybe getting away with it with the Emperor behind them. And I think that makes them happy with the sun behind that. <laughs> Which is like, what? That's kind of weird. It's very weird. Then we have, over on the other side, the King of Cups. Someone might be emotionally unavailable, but they're still quite honest with their feelings. Maybe they're not, like, giving them out in the best way, but they are trying to not be emotionally stubborn. I feel like. I feel like they're expressing their emotions in the, the most mature way they can. Very, very, very um, opposing sides, I have to say. Then we have a lack of success with that. Like something didn't go the way it was planned. Something wasn't balanced. There's a lot of error on this side, I gotta say. Then we got someone holding back and resisting a lot someone restraining themselves possibly with a Leo involved since that strength is their card at times that's nice that is so awesome man oof One sideways will take that. Someone's going to go into themselves. These are advices. This first advice is saying that like someone needs to go into themselves. Figure some things out introspectively. Like looking in to get the answers. Right? And second card of advice is someone might be feeling left out in the cold and they want to come back in. And you got to look within for the answer to that kind of scenario. And someone might be coming to apologize or offer a new heartfelt beginning. That is yours, Pisces, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.